Hi folks, this is Michael Mosiak, and it's time for another installment of Junior Sabres Journal. In this episode, some shuffling in and out of Buffalo, a big night on Harbor Center Ice, and a Buffalo Junior Sabre gets the call to represent his country at the World Junior A Challenge. December 1st brings to the Ontario Junior Hockey League a deadline for teams to have protected players set and some of the player cards turned back into the league. The Buffalo Junior Sabres were among the clubs making tweaks to the roster in advance of the deadline. A familiar face is back. Trevor Peckham, who is a regular member of the 2017-18 roster, returns to the fold. More on that in a moment. The team also signed Ryan Petosha, an Oakville, Ontario native who joins the Junior Sabres from Millbrook Prep School in downstate New York. Meanwhile, the team traded defenseman Nicholas Grupp to Brantford, while forward Henry Frontini also left the team. We mentioned just a moment ago that Trevor Pekka returned. His first game since rejoining was December 5th, and he brought with him offensive firepower, recording four assists in the team's 9-2 win over the Mississauga Chargers at Harbor Center. Nathaniel Burke finally had Lady Luck on his side, rewarding his hard work with a hat trick. Head coach Nick Tanzolino chatted with Junior Sabres Journal about the roster changes and the immediate dividends they've paid. At the start of the year, we were obviously you know, hoping that our offense was going to be as potent as it has uh, been for most of the year. Uh, we added a couple of weapons there with uh, Pekka and Petrosha, and now it's a matter of trying to find the right chemistry and get all four lines rolling. You've worked with Pekka before. He tried his luck elsewhere in juniors and uh, came back here. Uh, tell me about uh, when you got the call that uh, he was going to resign. Yeah, well, you know, I would kind of followed him when he had left, and you know, it's, never, it's never easy to leave home. And, a lot of times it's just what you need to come back to and you know tonight's effort by him was uh, what we needed to see. He was hard on the puck, uh, he got an assist on the first goal of the game. Uh, probably as good of a night for him for his first one back as you could get. Four points we find out. Yeah, it was like I said, it was, uh, it was one of those nights where the puck found him and it was, uh, I'm sure him and his family are happy he's home. Ryan Petosha joined the team uh, after Millbrook Prep School. What, what, what do uh, the Junior Sabres see in Petosha that uh, led, led the team to want to sign him? Uh, you know, he's got a lot of high-end skill. Uh, you know, I put him right on the same page as the Declan and uh, Spencer Smith when it comes to that type of skill level and speed. Um, he made our team uh, at the start of the year through camp, and, you know, obviously he was already enrolled in Millbrook Prep and had to kind of go there and, you know, money-wise, had to go figure that out. And, uh, you know, he wanted to be a part of us here, and, you know, we, we opened him welcomely and uh, hoping he can be a factor for us. Nathaniel Burke. Guy's been working hard, but uh, the poor guy's been snake bitten of late and comes back with a hat trick. You know, for me, Berkey's that, uh, that kind of perfect Buffalo story. He's a kid who played St. Joe's prep and, you know, made our squad just kind of on a whim. And he's taken his opportunity for the last year and a half, soon to be two years, and kind of started to run with it. Uh, he's very dynamic offensively. Puck sticks to him. Um, and, you know, he's got, a, he's got a knack for the net. By uh, tweaking some of the lineups as you did, uh, really most of the significant changes were forward. I mean, you, you do lose a defenseman, but that also kind of firms up some defensive pairings. Uh, it almost seems like a, a more of a vote of confidence in the defensive core that you've got. Yeah, I mean, that was a big problem with having eight is that, uh, you know, even if you were playing top four, you had to be, you know, on that bubble. And it was, it was uneasy for all the D. So obviously we never like to lose a good person like Nick, but, uh, you know, to show the confidence in the seven that we have, and especially the old ones that need that repetition, that gameplay, um, you know, their play has spoke volumes in the last three to four games with the consistency of them. And, uh, yeah, you know, just adding the, the depth up front has just been big for us. Alex Cicero netted two goals in the win. Here were his thoughts post-game. You had two goals tonight. Tell me about, uh, first of all, about that power play goal early on. What were you seeing out there? Uh, just trying to get in front of the net, tipped it, and went my way. How about the second one? Uh, just trying to get in front of the net, same thing, crashing the net, and... Well. That, that seems to be your thing. Get yourself in front of the net. Get yourself in position, and you know your line mates will set you up there. It's uh, just a matter of uh, right place, right time, or uh, yeah, but like got to read the play, you know, as much as possible. Just teammates are great, helping me out, so it's really good. Also scoring twice was team captain Adam Tredowitz, whose second goal of the night was his 20th of the season and 40th point. Yeah, I mean we got a couple of fresh legs in the lineup. It's always good to. Get a bunch of goals like that quick. It's always it makes guys feel good. So 
It also changes the dynamic of what you got for forwards. You got Trevor Pekka back. He came back with a, what now we found out was a four-point night. Uh, Patosha picks up his first point as a, as a junior saber, and what that does is it gives you guys more options. Yeah, I mean, they're both good players. Pax obviously was good last year, and Ryan, I mean, we don't know much about him, but his first two, two or three games he's been here has been pretty effective, so... The only team that's above you in the standings, quite frankly, is number one in Canada right now. But that just shows that you guys are still leaders of the pack for the rest of the division. And, and uh, are, are you guys starting to think about uh, a long run? Yeah, I mean, obviously, like, Oakville's a very good team. But we think we can play with them. Obviously, they get better records a little bit better. But we think we can play with anyone in the league. So Goalie Jeremy Foreman got the win for the Junior Sabres. Ty Glover has been called up to Team Canada East as part of the World Junior A Challenge, which began December 9th in Alberta. Glover is one of eight OJHL players representing Team Canada East at that tournament. Glover is also on the NHL Central Scouting watch list. He's projected as a sea skater, meaning that Central Scouting thinks he could go as early as the fourth round in the 2019 draft. Good luck to Ty Glover and all the OJHL representatives at Alberta. The Junior Sabres have three home games remaining in December. On Wednesday, December 12th, they welcome the Lindsay Muskies to Harbor Center. On Friday the 14th, the Brantford 99ers come to town. And on Wednesday the 19th, it's the Brampton Admirals arriving in Buffalo. All games are scheduled to begin at 7.30 p.m. And as always, Jeff Boyd and I will have the play-by-play -play from Harbor Center on the OJHL's official online video network, Hockey TV, and on the Buffalo Junior Sabres internet radio channel, which can be found on the team's official website. That's it for this edition of Junior Sabres Journal. I'm Michael Mrosiak. Thanks as always for listening. We'll see you at the rink.